So, uh, Shakil, also one more request uh, before you know we get started. Shakil and uh, Rajendra, both of you, if you all can uh, set the context, uh, what exactly are we looking to do? You know, uh, what's the forum about? And then probably uh, we could get started with introducing us. Uh, yes, Pawan, I just uh, put one message about the like uh, you know how to face our interview uh, with a good English. There's a topic okay. we are today. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's what we are doing, right? And, and uh, same time. As as uh, I want uh, one more add to one more, more thing that we uh, most of the here are improving our English. So same time uh, kindly kindly uh, tell something how you improve uh, and uh, and uh, how we will uh, we can also improve that. Okay, okay, okay. I I get an idea of what is required then. Uh, so I I'll get started and then probably Gopal you could uh, go next, right? So uh, first things is I I very quickly introduce myself uh, the kind of work that I do and uh, you know a little bit of background. So I am uh, Pavan Nayak. I work for a bank. Uh, uh, I work for an investment company which is based out of US. And currently uh, I am working out of the Mumbai office. Uh, I have around an IT IT experience of around uh, twelve years now, and I work as a project manager. Uh, I have a team of uh, of eighty plus, so that's the project size that I uh, that I manage. So, a uh, couple of things uh, as far as my academics are concerned, uh, I, I've done my engineering. Uh, after that, I did my MBA. I hold uh, a couple of licenses on project management, the uh, from the PMI, from Scrum, and from Safe. So, uh, and. Uh, th that's about me as far as the academics goes, right? Now, professionally, uh, if I will say the number of uh, things that I've done is I started off uh, as production support, then I moved into TCS uh, as a uh, as a UAT uh, tester, and that's where I met uh, Shakil, and we we and that's how far off we know each other, uh, and also Gopal, of course. So uh, after that, um, I moved into uh, more of a business role. And uh, subsequently, then I moved as a business analyst, as a full-time business analyst. And now I've been uh, I'm working as a project manager. So I have team of developers, I have team of uh, testers, I have team of business analysts, who all we all work together to build up a solution. Uh, so that's about me, uh, you know, professionally. Now another thing that uh, you know what I'll say is, as far as the hobbies are concerned, what I do otherwise, I am a, uh, I am taking sessions in project management so that's a that's a hobby for me i do take conduct a lot of trainings lot of workshops on project management for uh, at multiple levels uh, at organizational levels or at personal capacity and also for uh, other training institutes where i'm associated with and i run some sessions uh, another thing is uh, i also do conduct some uh, uh, sessions on you know how to effectively communicate how you can put your message forward and uh, how to improve as the whole right so those are some of the things that i do i do work with some of the colleges where you know i work very closely with the students to get things done to get them upscaled in the uh, you know in communications and things so that's very quickly about me now uh, what i would rather you know uh, one thing that i have learned and you know this is something that i always tell to everyone whom I am working with, or I am coaching, or I am mentoring, that it's not important that you have a very uh, a, a English which is very heavy vocab, which has a very heavy vocabulary, right? You might not use very fancy words, but you will have to use your words effectively. You will have to ensure that your message passes. So with that, uh, that's the basic uh, idea behind which I coach people in terms of you know communications and. Uh, uh, interviews uh, again. I, I I maybe I've not given a lot of interviews because I don't switch a lot of companies often. But yeah, I have certainly taken a couple of interviews, and uh, there are a lot of uh, college grads uh, who join my company, and I do some uh, trainings for them in terms of you know communication skills and everything. So uh, for from interview standpoint, you know if if I have to say what would have what is a good interview a good interview is not where you can you know uh, uh, impress 
the interviewer with a lot of language and a lot of uh, communication skills but a good interview is where you can impress the interviewer with your knowledge and if you want to impress your interviewer with knowledge you will have to pass the message to the interviewer that is the core idea of a good interview so what happens is sometimes we get so conscious with the way you know we are speaking or you know the or with the way we are speaking or the way we want to represent ourselves that we tend to lose out on the basic intent of an interview that they want to know how your knowledge is and uh, that's something that i work on with uh, with you know with the people that i with the people that i start mentoring so yeah that's that's a little bit of an intro of me and now what i would suggest is uh, or rather, you know what i would uh, want is there are a lot of people who are in the uh, who are here right before i give it out to gopal to introduce himself uh, if there are any questions in terms of communication in terms of project management in terms of it industry you can shoot them out now or we'll give it to gopal and then we both can take your questions after that however uh yes adendra do you have any question or want to ask something to pawan nai uh yes uh, i have me me ah uh, yes rajendra go on can i start okay okay i, I want to ask uh, one question actually uh, most of the uh, uh, most of the person here who is attending uh, this session are uh, mostly, mostly they are working in uh, some firm and uh, some are even uh, students uh, who want to improve english and uh, as you said that uh, for technical part or uh, the subject uh um, we all are working over uh, that part uh, as well uh, our technical strength and other things but uh, uh, we are facing some issues uh, related with our language like uh, uh, sometime uh, we are not able to uh, convey our messages uh, to uh, because the english is a medium by which we have to uh, convey our message properly uh, and uh, that that thing we are working with uh currently sometimes we finding uh, difficulties to convey messages properly okay. just because of our english is not good and the same time uh, i want to also know uh, because uh, right now i i can speak but sometime uh, there is a problem there are, there is a fluency issue some kind of right words are not coming uh, in our mind so this type of problem we are facing and uh, which type of activity we should do and uh, like a uh, particular uh, there are so many youtube channels there are learning platforms are, are there so anything you want to recommend to uh, you can go uh, this type of activity you can go to particular youtube channel or a particular website to learn improve yourself uh, at english so that will be uh, i think uh, uh, that is a more beneficial that, that is a one uh, one question from my side okay uh, i think that's a very valid question uh, and i i'll take the I'll take uh, you know i'll take this question so uh, first rajendra uh, and and the team now that you have mentioned that most of you all are working professionals uh, that that gives me a little bit of idea of where we are standing uh, and where we want to go so uh, rajendra uh, let me put a question right uh, can you learn swimming by watching someone swim or can you learn no, flying no, in no. kite by watching someone fly the kite no, no 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 right so what happens is if you go through you want to learn communication and communication is a two way medium communication is never a one way medium right if you look if you look at youtube and you try to learn out of youtube it is going to be a one way medium you learn the you learn some basics of communication you learn what are the you, know, you you might learn how to pronounce words yeah you might learn what is the right way in which you can frame your sentences and write an email yeah but when you are communicating with someone and when you are start getting a lot of questions to the uh, to the things that you are uh, you know that you are communicating that is where your communication skills come into play and communication is not just about talking it's also about listening so listening is a very important uh, you know it's a very important uh, skill that builds the entire communication 
communication package so uh, what happens is uh, usually if you know i am conducting uh, uh, workshops on communication what we try to do uh, we 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 take certain project management approaches we discuss on them and then we do a lot of workshops for people now i am presuming if you all are it we'll take something that is very it related we'll create a scenario and we'll ask you all to fit into th those shoes right if someone is a developer we'll tell them that okay for this particular workshop you are going to be a business analyst if someone is a business analyst we tell that person for this particular workshop you are going to be a developer so we do that role plays and we get you in a lot of workshops and that is where you build communication so a very straight forward answer to your question would be uh, you cannot learn or you cannot get your communication skills to an level where you would call it effective by watching an one way medium you will have to get into a level where you are speaking continuously where there are questions being asked where you are answering those questions now you asked me a question i am answering that question so we are communicating for me to understand what you have asked i will have to listen to you very carefully for me to you know give you an answer that not just answers you but also answers some of the silent listeners who are who are just listening but they are paying attention but they are they, they probably had the same question and they did not ask that question so that's where communication becomes effective so that's that's how it is rajendra yes yes uh, it's a very uh, very very uh, uh, effective uh, and but from your side thank you sure rajendra i think uh, shakil if there are Uh, uh, someone else having a question. I see Rajiv has raised his hand. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, hi, Pawan. Uh, good evening. Uh, good thanks evening. for uh, uh, your time. So, uh, I mean, uh, as you said uh, in in the interview, definitely language matters. But uh, how much knowledge matters and how much communication matters? I mean, both things should not be. And sometimes it's not balanced. Suppose. uh some candidate is uh, having good knowledge but their communication skill is bit lacking so uh how how we decide i mean uh, uh, so uh, knowledge over communication okay so uh, i think it's a very valid question uh and it's it's uh this is how it happens right if i have gone uh you know if i am taking an interview for an candidate in a development role or for a candidate in a testing role or any role for that matter i being the project manager i know my job is to work with this person to get the work done and then i communicate it with the stakeholders and also basis how this person has been working with me or has been in the interview has you know has given his answers to me i also get an idea of what level of work will i have to do with this person in terms of communication skills so that this person can straight away start talking to the stakeholders and that my that job is done so so it's it's two way thing right if if someone comes to me who's very good technically and cannot speak i have asked people questions in their own language i have told a lot of people that okay it's okay you need not necessarily speak to me in english only you are good in uh, hindi speak to me in hindi you are good in marathi speak to me in marathi you or whatever language at least these two i know so yeah certainly those two i will tell them but for me when i'm taking an interview there are two things that i would keep in mind how effectively is this person able to give his or you know impart the knowledge uh, that he has in technical aspects of thing and for me the check in the box would be okay if uh, technically he is where i want him to be then communication i will work with him but the whole whole catch is at the point where you are able to communicate your own technical capabilities the, cap the the your own knowledge to someone else that is where the catch is and that is what requires mentoring that is what requires a little bit of coaching and that's where you know uh, people like me gopal you know we come in and we work with you but again as far as your interview goes if i am able to understand that i ask you a question on on a database store procedure and you are able to give me the logic and write the store procedure down for me that is all i need and beyond that i know that okay this guy lacks in communication i'll work with him 
and I'll get him up there because it's 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 my job as well, right? So that's what you know. I don't. There should not be a case that because you're not able to communicate, you're not getting selected. That should not be a case. You should be as and bare minimum, every person who's going for an interview should be in a position where he's able to communicate what he has bought with him. What he does not have at all, he cannot show it at all, right? If you have money in your pocket, you'll show you have money. If you don't have money in your pocket, you cannot even show that you have money in your pocket, right? There is no way that you can show that. So it's as simple as that. So what you have is your knowledge. If you're able to show it to me, that is enough for me in an interview. And what you don't have, you don't show me. I know you don't have that. So you don't even try to cover it up because it becomes very clear that immediately within 10 minutes of you walking in and giving your own introduction, it is very clear of where you stand in a lot of areas of listening, communication, you know, uh, basic technical knowledge, awareness. Those are some of the check in the box that we come to know immediately within 10 minutes. So after that, it is just you and your knowledge that is going to take you through. There is nothing else. Does that help, Raju? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, so I think Gopal, would you want to okay. quickly go next? Yeah. Hey. Uh, just before I get started, I'll tell you guys that uh, we only have about four minutes left in Zoom. Uh, I think you know it is a forty-minute meeting, right? Since we joined late, uh, it's gonna end. So should, uh, how do we go about it? We end it in the next four minutes. Or how do we go about it? I think we, we we've come to know about Rajendra, but uh, we, yeah, Rajiv and uh, Nitinanda. Uh, yep. Hello. Yeah. Uh, do you want introduction from us? Yeah, just just a brief one, not a big one. Okay, you know, okay. Name, okay, 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 okay. From... <laughs> No, yeah, um, right. yes, 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 yes. So uh, my name is Rajendra Prashad. I am living in Faridabad and working in government organization. And uh, I am uh, also from IT background. So that is uh, all from my side. And uh, my hometown is in UP. Oh, Unnao. Okay, Rajendra. Good to talk to you here. So same, same here. Same. Yeah. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, so I'm Rajiv. I'm uh, also working in a, a software uh, uh, field. So I have uh, six plus years of experience. So I'm working in MNC in Gurgaon. Uh, and I'm a .NET developer. Perfect. Good. So who who goes next? Rajiv, it was it's nice talking to you here. And hope we have a very good session by the end of the day, and we have takeaways for ourselves. Uh, who's going to take next? Uh, what about this Nityananda Burman? Yeah. yeah, I am Nityanand. I am from West Bengal. Okay. Okay, and now I am preparing for government job. Okay. And so that's all from my side. Oh, so you you might you are a student, is it? Just... Actually, uh, I I have done my graduation. After that, I am trying to get a job. Okay, wonderful. Getting it. I think. Okay. Yep. I think we got the rest of the people also. So if if somebody comes in, Shakil might keep letting them in. But uh, by the time the people trickle in, I think we can get started with you know the usual session. So, uh, getting to the introduction piece, my name is Gopalakrishnan. Right, I've got about say 10 to 11 years of experience in IT domain. Uh, of late, uh, I'm not getting too much into the details. You know, uh, myself, Shakil, and Pavan, we actually go back a long way. And uh, so we, we maybe kept on speaking about this, and Shakil and Pavan and us. Right, so we, we thought it would be great to have a session where we can, you know, help people out with uh, wherever we can. And let me set the context straight, right? Uh, so the most important piece here is we have some takeaways after this call, right? Uh, so it should not be the case that, you know, me talking, Pavan talking, and Shakil talking, you know, uh, and then, you know, we have a few others talking alone, and the rest of the people, they just come and leave. As, as Pavan pointed out, uh, you know, it is always a two-way process. You're not going to improve just by listening, right? Communication is a very broader word here. No, it's more about listening, it's more about talking, and it's about taking back a lot of terms. 
and you you go back you work with it you know it's it's a way how you learn things in in general right but learning is, is is normally occur that way right you you never get to learn things if you just scratch the surface right again uh, it, it's pretty much common right uh, even in whatever phases of life what we try to do you know if, even if you're back in a technology firm or if, even if you're doing some other work you know, wherever you get into you know if you're trying to learn it's important that you get your hands dirty you listen you observe and then you actually perform those activities wherever you can start improving yourself and that's more important and whenever you get a chance never hesitate and start talking on that it's okay if you uh, you know if you believe that you're not really performing to the best that you could have and maybe it it kind of uh, you know uh, there's a negative energy when you start talking right so we got to get over that thing and that that's when and then you start addressing the problem and that's where you start getting your solutions right that is exactly what we are, what we are trying to do here and we may not have you know bigger session uh, you know this 40 minute session and i think today will be done with this 40 minute session but at the end of the day it is important that whatever we listen you know we we going back maybe we are trying out you know with, with talking to somebody and maybe even if you don't get to talk to somebody you talk to yourself you know uh, it, it might sound a bit strange but that's what a lot of people do you know they actually go back stand in front of the mirror and you know they may want to enact a particular story that's been told by anybody or uh, you, you heard a youtube video and you try to enact it yourself you know th- those are few of the tricks that you end up doing when you start learning and you know based on our experience based on our experience uh, first of all i'll let you know that having a communication problem is is, is a pretty universal thing okay it's not something that is you know because even in this session right we got people with, with enormous experience already but still they believe there is a lot of things or a lot of scope of improvement within themselves whenever uh, in terms of communication and it it is not you know limited to a certain group of people in fact i would rather tell you that uh, in as part of my uh, organization right we have a lot of people who gone on site and when you go on site you actually got people who can you know who been talking in english also like right, all around you and still and still they may have some communication problem and i i keep wondering you know why this would happen why this would happen when the entire world around you is actually speaking english and you're still having trouble doing that so this guys are sustaining this guys are sustaining because they are good with the work that they tend but you know maybe in uh, you know because the impact of the work that that they've been doing then they all this kind of lost focus on uh, you know the communication piece that they should have also encountered so i'll key, I'll, i'll pause there for a minute okay and i'll want to have any questions from from you you know basically any uh, blockages that you feel or whenever if if you, you know we, we are not new to this field right so if you know you see that whenever you're starting on this communication what what do you think is actually hindering your progress or you know trying not to be better at at speaking what do you think is actually pulling you back can we have you know anybody who talk out and think that uh, you know this is the probable problem that i have maybe that's the reason i'm not able to communicate properly is there anything that you guys have in mind for yourself that this might be something that is pulling you back anybody anybody can go at you know the, uh, i'm telling you right so it's important that can, can, you all start can, talking uh, can you repeat your question what what you should uh, i didn't get that no no what i'm trying to say is you know all of us here you know we are pretty much uh, you know it professionals or government professionals we've been into this business so we might have definitely analyzed or have you ever analyzed on what is probably the reason on what uh, is not allowing you to communicate properly uh, in a broader audience do you think there is a problem that needs yes, to be yes 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 yeah. yes 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 uh, i want to add uh, here that uh, first problem is that uh, our environment uh, we didn't have that much in, in that environment that uh, uh, give us a chance to speak in english and sometime even we are hesitant enough uh, so that uh, we are not able to uh, talk in front of uh, some when we are having some opportunity even then still we are not uh, talk just because of hesitation and sometime we 
we we are having feeling that uh, we are not a good speaker and uh, same time uh, we also know that uh, if uh, uh, if we will talk then there should be lot of grammatical errors so these things uh, are uh, the reason uh, by uh, so so we are not communicating and same time uh, if i talk uh, uh, so because uh, most of the time uh, we are sometime uh, don't have requirement like uh, in everyday life uh, we are having uh, uh, we are meeting with the uh, people who are speaking in hindi so mostly we are speaking because uh, we don't uh, sometime we don't have that much requirement so requirement is also one reason uh, that that uh, also sometime abstract abstract us so that that is a thing i think so uh, maybe maybe i am not, not that much correct so but but still i am putting my views yeah that that's kind of bang on you know uh, a perfect way to put ahead a problem that you facing i think that that's a good way to get started we can talk more on that but before getting to that right i'm still wondering if anybody else wants to speak up I guess it's it's important uh, that you you speak up at the end of the, uh, you know during the session you know we take up questions else uh, it would be a case of me pavan you know talking through the session and you know we may not really get through this with any takeaways or positive takeaways right so anybody wants to go ahead yeah you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, as rajinder said uh, uh, he said very well so definitely uh, we learn a lot we uh, watch youtube video we uh, learn movie uh, we watch movies but all all the things what we do is we just listen and uh, we don't get the companion we don't don't get that environment where we can uh, uh, speak more and uh, sometime in 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 uh, at least in in uh, delhi and cr in the uh, it office as well many people communicate in hindi so even uh, 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 colleagues and uh, even when we talk with our managers or anyone uh, uh, apart from client so we discuss in everything in hindi because everyone understand it and uh, it's it's a problem with us as well because we express our feelings in the, our native language better than uh, english so that's why we always try to uh, communicate in english we are not that much comfortable in that language to communicate our uh, all the expressions and all our feelings so that's why we prefer to talk in, in hindi and uh, uh, sometimes it's also uh, uh, happened at uh, when, when we work in a, in a it company so we we have a particular domain we we have some set of uh, 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 st- statements which we used to uh, uh, use like uh, is my screen visible to what uh, uh, this is a code and it, sometimes we are we are aware about the uh, the uh, words which are which are being used in our domain like suppose in technology domain i know uh, code repository they, there are very common terms which we uh, uh, i mean try to communicate with the client even we uh, sometimes we get uh, some chance to communicate with the client like suppose i am going to give the demo so i am already prepared about uh, uh, things which which i am going to uh, uh, talk to the clients so these things are uh, uh, in our daily life but when we talk to a general things when we talk about any any uh, uh, a uh, general awareness or any uh, news topic in that case we will run out of uh, words so that that the problem we face good I, i think that that was that was a good thing that came up but rajiv i'll, I'll tell you that uh, one thing is you know i think you you're pretty good at communication yourself you know i i think uh, it's pretty much in the mind <laughs> first and foremost what rajinder brought about and which is you know pretty much very important is the hesitation within the individuals themselves right so when you when you hesitate a lot and uh, the actual problem that you brought about is also pretty you know uh, the one that needs to be sorted out is the environment now we can't do much about the environment that we have and uh, as i pointed out before you know i've seen people who've been surrounded by all englishmen uh, but they haven't been able to communicate better with them maybe the focus wasn't right or maybe the intent wasn't there okay so what i'm trying to say is as for your demo as you just mentioned right when you whenever you have a demo you already have that thing practiced you know all you know you you take efforts to make sure that whatever you're going to speak is going to be correct or not right so you got to have the same intent you know the rest of the period of time also so if in case uh, and, and it's a constant thing right you cannot and you know you cannot think that you know i'm going to do this thing for uh, for my demo and then again okay, we can lay this thing to rest and after uh, you know maybe next time round whenever it comes around i'll get back to it it's a continuous thing 
you'll have to reiterate you'll have to go back to it as much as you can first of all you know uh, i think pavan pointed out very well you don't have to be a heavy book guy you know you don't need to speak big jargon you just have to be communicating effectively with even the simplest of the words that you know of and then you know whenever you're doing that uh, you know you got to keep practicing even with yourself and you try to see if you can improve on that usage of language because unless and until you do it yourself you know even if you don't get an environment you still have to talk to yourself you read books uh, or you know maybe the the point is you get more curious about how you're going to improve on it it's about the curiosity factor it's about how you learn it's about how you go back to your language over and over again and you try to improve them and uh, without without the feeling you know more often than not whenever we come to learning right we, we start on something we keep doing something and then after a period of time we tend to get bored and we tend to leave it and hope that it works if that that is not the case you'll have to keep going to that maybe you know uh, on my friend i was fortunate enough that you know i got an opportunity where the base requirement is also communication so that is that is primarily very important and you, you got to keep trying that so that, that that's one of the aspect that it is now we can we can obviously talk about a lot of things more you know where uh, because communication is a broader term right uh, i think he uh, pavan has put it absolutely perfectly that it, it boils down to active listening it boils down to how you can put forth put forward your thoughts in the right way but we have to start it we are, well, you know we'll have to be more curious and it ultimately lands up onto us on how we going to do that uh you know pardon me for the background noise you know my kid is going crazy so <laughs> just in case if you guys are listening i think uh uh pardon me for that that that's one part of the thing but uh formally any uh so uh, rajendra and rajiv does that primarily answer the questions that you had and on how we can you know eradicate we, we can't do much about the environment that you have no uh, you know the one thing that you're doing well is you're attending this forums and all and we can have more of these sessions often as well you know wherein we keep you know come out and start talking and stuff but uh, you know i think individually you'll have to make that conscious effort to come out and start talking to yourself and that that's one piece that is uh, very relevant and very important that you're going to do so does that by by any chance answer your question or you feel there is something more needs to be addressed uh, gopal krishnan i just want to say that uh, the way you are talking is a very uh, very impressive and and same time uh, with uh, pavan 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 sir also the way you people are speaking actually we are working uh, we we want to improve uh, that kind of uh, communication communication skills that's why we have formed this group and there is a regular uh, regular uh, zoom meeting for conversation only we are talking at different different topics uh, that is our daily routine uh, at least two to three times we are um, meeting in this group and uh, yeah, doing something uh, talking uh, so that uh, our communication skill is improved and uh, yeah that is a uh, that that is a we are doing and uh, i think uh, maybe oh. maybe we yeah i'm sorry rajendra to cut you uh, uh i didn't intend to cut you rajendra you can go ahead and complete and then probably i'll come back after that no no i have just come i think i have completed uh, that uh, i want to say just uh, inform you guys uh, because you are very you people are very good in your communication and same time uh, when someone is a um, that is a our sometime even uh, 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 drop back that uh, when someone is speaking very fluent and uh, very good uh, Uh, uh good in communication so most of the time we want to listen uh, listen them in spite of uh, talking in a question or so because because we are uh, uh, we are that kind of people now so uh, if we talk about our country there are so many good speakers so we are uh, uh, most uh, focus on listening part so that may be sometime drawback uh, from our side also maybe rajesh so so here here's what here's what i do right uh, i have a team and uh, we keep getting people who who join the team who are new right who are not uh, very seasoned in the company or hey they have joined from an organization like uh, i'm not sure of the gentleman who was talking before you but uh, he mentioned that they in delhi ncr everyone is talking in hindi and probably that's the reason uh, you know the communication didn't come up 
to the level at which it should have. So we have these folks who join the company, who join the team. Uh, we 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 take a very conscious effort to you know work on work with these guys. So uh, here's what you know what I suggest. In, in, now that I understand that y'all are regularly meeting in this group and talking and you know trying to improve upon things. Here's what I do, right? Uh, everyone in the meeting, uh, I see, I see Dharmesh, I see uh, Manish, I see, uh, you know, uh, I, I, and I see a couple of folks more, right? You need to put a rule that everyone in the team comes and talks about one item that has happened with them in the last week. Now, this could be anything, right? This could be something that has happened in your company. This could be something that you bumped into a new person and you spoke to this person. And you want to tell the team that, okay, I spoke to this person like this, or maybe you went to a restaurant and had a good dinner or a lunch, right? So, uh, of course now with COVID that is not happening, but yeah. Uh, so you will have to, you know, probably start that practice. So I think Gopal ha uh, mentioned that, okay, he wants everyone to come up with a question and ask that question. If, if every time asking a question is difficult i know people who have questions will always ask questions but for others who don't have question are finding it difficult to you know do that icebreaker get good get doing with this so everyone comes comes up and speaks about something that they know like uh, today you know today i prepared uh, I, I prepared something right so i probably come and talk about it and and you need to put a rule in place which states that this should not necessarily be in English. It can be in Hindi. It can be in whatever language that you want to. But first you need to understand that how you break the ice, right? You need to understand that when you're talking, everyone needs to stay mute. Everyone listens to you. Or when you want to raise your point, you want to put something out. What should be the exact reference or exact point from where you come into an, come into a discussion. Now that's very difficult. And that's where communication comes in play again, right? There is a meeting that is going on. There are two people with uh, uh, with a great grasp on their language, talking, and you are you are struggling to enter that that discussion. You are looking for a point where you can enter that discussion. So what happens is when you get into these story sessions, uh, storytelling sessions uh, every week, and every week you come and you speak about something, some of your experience, you will realize that there are some instances, there are some way in which. When you are communicating, everyone listens to you and everyone is with you, right? So you come to know which, which, which part of your vocab triggers that, right? And you can use those tools to get into a discussion that is happening. So what, what I will suggest is in these sessions, uh, I'm not sure if Shakil, you, you run these sessions or how this happens, but I, what I will suggest is you guys, you know, everyone, everyone in the meeting, uh, everyone who's in the call, come up there, speak about something speak about whatever you want to, but see, and you know, when you're speaking, you should understand, are people listening to you? What are the questions that are coming to you? Are the questions of the nature? Why? So why is a very high order nature, right? If you ask what, that's not, that's okay. You're just asking what that means that what you said was, there was some piece of it that was not understood. But when you ask why, or when you're getting why into your, uh, into your discussions or uh, questions, that means people were listening to it. They understood it. And now they're asking, why did that happen? So how, what, those are questions which will always come. That might be a fact that something that you didn't explain properly. So they asked how, but how did that happen or what you didn't cover that piece. So they're asking what happened, but when someone is asking why that means that person has, has, you know, listened to everything that you are saying very carefully and then has understood it. And now is asking something like a why. Why was the case that, you know, the communication did not happen at the, at the level that it had to happen. So here he's not asking what was going wrong. He's not asking how did everything go wrong, but he's actually asking why. So he knows what you want to communicate and now he, he or she wants to learn a bit more. So, you know, yeah. that is where you can build your communication. Yeah. When you talk, you should have your talks in such a way that questions of a very high order are coming back and keep a watch at that. So when you tell a story, you should keep a watch at, you know, what kind of questions are coming and then you know, okay, this story went well. Uh, these were the questions that came and okay. Yeah. So, you know, you understand that. So that's one effective tool that you can use. Uh, we do that tool uh, a lot. So Pavan, uh, let me interrupt you here. See, uh, what I have seen here in this group, like many guys are confusing, taking grammar seriously, you know, they learn grammar as they're going to start speaking. So they get confused how to use grammar in their communication skills. So that's the main point is we should do some idea means the grammar is 
other part and the speaking skills other part correct yes and that is what i think even gopal said that is what even i am saying that grammar you have a very good grammar you have a very good vocab that's very good but that's not communication right uh, when we speak in hindi if shakil you are from aurangabad uh, gopal is from tamil nadu i am from andhra okay when we three people are speaking hindi we bring our own flavors of hindi which is nothing close to how actually hindi is supposed to be right i if i speak in hindi i use a lot of bombay type uh, uh, hindi that is there right shakil when you speak in hindi your hindi has a lot of flavor of what aurangabad is so are we are we using the right grammar no but has it ever been a case that after we spoke uh, we had to actually think about what we spoke what did he say why did he say no because we are able to communicate so communication grammar adds that extra piece to your communication but communication itself is basically letting someone know what you are thinking of what you are visualizing what you are seeing in your mind is what is coming out of your uh is co- is coming out by your words so that is communication so it might not necessarily be a right grammar uh like uh there, there was a gentleman who just spoke about you know he's preparing for uh, some civil exam or something i don't know who what was his name but when he spoke what he wants to do was very clear right so he he he, he didn't use the best of the grammar but if you see it was very clear we all understood so that is what so that is communication for me at least and and when we when we spoke right uh, and i think uh, each of those people we have around nine people in the call and i think eight and i have just joined multiple places but if if i look at the problem statement you know it could be different for different people so when i when i start with rajendra maybe you know uh, even rajiv you know rajiv is, is very good at putting the thing maybe he just wants it to be you know presented in a better manner you know somebody else you know the rest of the people they're not even asking the question so there was a lot of uh negative energy or there's a lot of uh uh you say uh, i you know pardon me when i use the word you uh, know inferiority complex but i think that is something that is coming up because when rajin they spoke right he said you know you know we people would like to communicate more like you it's, it's not like that okay uh, first of all just be calm okay uh, it's important that you can speak up and i think you guys have decent communication skills is that you going to build on top of what you have and yes you can you can definitely do that but you going to give away with that lack of confidence because confidence is something that is internal and unless and until you going to you know gain that bit of confidence to start speaking uh, you know it's going to be a lot of trouble because you know on, on personal experience right on personal experience uh, if i ask shakil you know shakil came from aurangabad into mumbai and i think I, in the initial stages he also had some lot of trouble with his communication and it's been over the years that he has he's got better at that and today i see him giving expert lectures in colleges as well and you know that's that's a, you know a big big improvement in what he was uh, you know since he came you know came to mumbai so that is what it is but he constantly kept on improving he had that confidence within himself which could actually push him to raise his own bar you know so when it comes to rajendra I, i want you to give up that uh, you know inferiority complex that you have that you know we people we don't have a thing that shouldn't be the case you know you are definitely communicating just that you want to build on top of whatever you have for the rest of the folks and i think you should gather the confidence to speak up because i haven't uh, heard a single word from the rest of the participants and that's that's not what you want to do when you are actually getting into uh, communication Gopal, uh, let me interrupt you here we have about 10 minutes left okay yeah that's right that's right so we we have our 10 minutes so of this 40 minute session i think most of the time was taken up by uh, just four of us can we use the rest 10 minutes okay, when okay. and somebody could actually come up and start yeah talking. yeah i want to i want to end okay? so thank you gopal yeah. for uh, having with you and uh, for your uh, uh, you can say a best conversation with you and uh, i want to ask you like uh, yeah, that the tips you actually i joined later so i joined just late and uh, so i want to ask you that that people are suggesting like for uh, improving your skills or for uh, uh, becoming fluent in english or to improve yourself you need to do reading uh, writing and uh, listening and uh, whatever you have to do but i think uh, in my opinion these things are only uh, possible when you are consistent with your uh, thought or when you are consistent with your goal or uh, when you are it, it, that much determined like uh, when you have that kind of perseverance in your 
a thought or in your way of practicing these kind of things. So what you tell means anything else uh, uh, with this kind of thing you want to add something or you want to uh, help your experience to share with me or you want to uh, help me like how these kind of things can also add you have to add something more so that you are you can become a very good um, English speaker or you can actually improve your skill. So could you please tell me anything else? Uh, when, when you talk about communications, right now, since uh, I think uh, getting a fair idea of how the audience is, you know, they have a decent understanding of using English words. So uh, let's let's use it. There, there are more to communications as as Shavan already mentioned, right? So when you spoke this time around, you know, you actually rushed to things, right? Uh, it was you know a continuous train without without any pauses or without any idea. Maybe even if you recollect your words after what you've spoken, you may not remember it yourself. Right. So whenever you communicate, make sure you're slowing things down. Okay. You 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 pause in between so that you know you ensure that the people whom you're talking to are understanding. And whenever you're speaking to somebody, you know, let's see if you're speaking to somebody who who has a better hold on communication, right? So you'll try to pick up words from, you know, uh, trying to see. Okay. And uh, uh, if I need to say some, you know, one of these sentences, maybe I'm gonna do it this way. But I heard a new word today. Why not use it? And as part of my communication going forward, I think it will fit in well. Okay, you don't need to be heavy duty again, but then you can obviously pick up some better words when you're going to. You can work on your pauses, and you can, you know, just start delivering it. There is no, uh, you know, I'll be very clear that you know you guys have decent knowledge of all the English words that needs to be used. But it's just put away your constants. Reading and uh, uh, reading and watching those movies is again one part of it. But then you can grasp it as much as you can. But you start uh, Gopal, using it more often in your life. Uh, Gopal, we have five minutes remaining. So uh, yeah, guys, yeah, what right. we are doing here, we are just recording this uh, session, and we are going to upload this session on our channel, Aisha Coaching Classes. Okay. So those who want to uh, listen or see that session, so you can go and watch on Aisha Coaching Classes. Okay, guys. Okay, I have I have a one suggestion for you guys because uh, it is a really very uh, nice uh, conversation here, and uh, we have uh, also got a uh, lot of good things from this session. Um, but uh, I have a one suggestion that uh, if possible, uh, kindly uh, 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 kindly uh, do such kind of meeting after some interval of time, like 15 days or uh, uh, maybe. Uh, if if that is a possible in one uh, one month if that is a possible so that will be boost our our uh, our our information also. definitely sure, the, sure. the idea is to help help you okay? but I, i'll still suggest right uh, this being a communication meeting we want everybody to talk if you want another session and i think somebody has to step up you know people have to step up and as as uh, uh, pavan mentioned right you can come out you can start talking about any of your experiences because if you don't talk you know, it's going to be very difficult for us to probably provide feedback. No, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, but I don't, uh, I, I don't think you, the guy who spoke previously to me or raised the question, you know, didn't introduce himself. But you know, whenever you spoke, at least I, you know, we were in a position to give some feedback on how we could possibly get started or you know, work on as a few minutes. But unless and until people come up and start speaking, I think uh, you know, it's going to be difficult to get feedback and and start improving on things. But on your question, Rajendra, yeah, we can definitely have sessions. I think we'll communicate with uh, with Shakib, and uh, you know where we can probably see where where we can go with it. So, so I think I think Gopal, just to add, right? I'm not sure how many minutes are left, but uh, there are two things that is important, and this comes this is for all of y'all, right? Since you all are in this meeting, you all want to learn a thing or two. So, what I will suggest is whenever the next session is happening, whenever Shakib schedules it and we are coming in. y'all get your friends have as many number of people as you can have in the attendees so you, you know you can learn to speak in front of people that's all so have lot of people have a lot of sessions where you all are talking little bit and then asking questions so you know that is when we can analyze and give you feedback in person that okay rajendra you need to work here or you know rajiv you need to work here and so on and so forth uh, i see hand raised by nityanand so before we uh, lose on time if you could yeah thank you thank you for giving me this opportunity actually uh, we know all the things uh, what to do actually you uh, you people uh, consume most of the time and we did not get any chance to speak so that's why i raise my hand yeah so so there are there is a format to everything right 
what we did today is where we try to do the talking and y'all do the listening probably in the next session whenever we have that is where y'all do the talking and we do the listening so we can provide a feedback see you need to also okay, understand sir. you will not be able to speak in front of someone that you don't know right that's the reason we did a lot of talking so y'all understand from where we come what we bring onto the table and then you take your call of you know how you want to take it forward so that's that's the only thing so that's the reason a lot okay. of talking to work but hopefully if you join the next time and you have some more friends with y'all with you maybe I, you'll do the talking and we'll do the listening okay okay thank you thank you also important piece of communication is before you get into a meeting you need to understand what is the agenda of the meeting you need to understand why you yeah, are there yeah, yeah. right? so once you know why yeah, that yeah. is there then you can make more sense so yeah sure yeah shakil uh, i think i'll give it up to you to wrap it up uh, yeah we have three minutes left so anyone want to speak out so uh, i want to i want Hello. to ask something okay yeah yeah oh. yeah who is it hello sir yes sir munish munish is here yeah munish tell me yes sir sir my name is munish and uh, i am from punjab but live in haryana because my job is here so i am not uh, very fluent in english but uh, i still tried uh, to speak in english and i will join this meeting uh, uh, this is my first day for listening you and uh, i will uh, i think i am improving myself so this is my talking sir okay thanks thanks for joining so actually we have only one minute left okay so see guys again i am telling you this i am going to upload this uh, session on our channel aisha coaching classes so guys go there and subscribe our channel you will get more session and more videos on the same topic okay and also you can find grammar in that uh, say, uh, channel okay so pawan and gopal thanks thanks a lot for joining in and uh, boosting our guys you know because they are struggling a lot for the english speaking yeah thanks thanks a lot guys and uh, second thing i let you know when we going to start a second session okay guys yeah actually uh, it would be better if, if we get uh, this information in a bit advance because today we get uh, few just few hours ahead and uh, yeah yeah actually actually we are just side. running a trial basis okay how many people are going to join this if it gets successful then we can give more you know chance to get will join this session uh yeah definitely and thanks pawan and gopal i definitely it is going to help us a lot so definitely we'll work on this uh thanks thanks for uh, your time and uh, have a nice day guys hey guys yeah, bye bye thanks a lot thanks everybody yeah thank you bye 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 everyone